these come in. Woo. You smell? The lights are beautiful today. As long as I hold that string. Um, these particular white truffles are between $1,800 and $3,500 a pound. I'd be silly so and so. actually shave mandolin the um, the truffle fresh all right F per each dish you know we keep the moist wrapped and cold and uh, that's truffles what world You know, I really wanted to open up a restaurant that touched upon all the different things that I love. Obviously, my Italian culture and food, drink, and certainly music. I used to do Broadway shows and, and I have a 25 piece orchestra and I try to share my music with my customers um, as much as I possibly can. I call Primo an outpost, you know, we're not in any major area, we're, we're sort of equidistant to all these wonderful places here in LA. So we try to pass on the advantages of having what could be called a difficult location because we don't spend, you know, $20,000 a month to be near the beach in our fixed costs here. We really bring uh, a wonderful value when you're eating here. You know, literally, you can go five miles away from here and pay double and sometimes triple what, what, what we're doing here. Everything that we do here um, with, with my chef, Michelangelo, is, is what I like to call true heritage-based Italian cooking. We try very hard to find the best ingredients, um, and then and then not affect them so much. Let let the tomatoes speak. Let the the meats and the cheeses and the different things that we serve here really um, be themselves. Our pastas, our pizza dough, breads, our testaroli are all made by hand in house every day. Everything that we use, it's very important what type of flours we use for which pastas that we have, and um, you know we. Um, we don't do 24-hour dough. We have a 36-hour fermenting period, and we've worked very hard on our taste profile of our dough. And, and um, yeah, so everything's fresh. So for me, success is um, it's certainly money. You have to have money to be able to do things in this world. There's no doubt about that. Um, but if it's your driver, um, you're probably not going to make it. There has to be um, a connection to what it is that you're doing that makes you feel something special. Today, everybody thinks they can, you know, go online and find out how to do something, you know? Well, there's still a lot of other things that you have to do besides following a list of, of the actual things to do, right? There are things like talent and passion and uh, struggle and, and experience, right? And um, that's life. And a lot of people don't want to live it. They just want to see it and they just want to read about it. And oftentimes, it's just best to do something, and uh, when you fall down, you get the back up, and you, you live to fight another day. And you have to be a special person. You either have to be special or very crazy to own a restaurant. Because it's complete commitment. You have to show up every day and be the best. Um, because if you don't, um, people, people will see that, people will feel that, and uh, you have to want to do that. You can't, you can't fake that. I've worked in restaurants my whole life, so it's hard to uh, get that out of you. I sing a couple times a week, every Friday and Saturday. My accompanist comes uh, from Hollywood, and he comes down to the South Bay, and he spends four hours with us every Friday and Saturday. We have no plan. We just play and sing to our heart's content. It's a real treat, because you never know what's going to happen here. I, I don't know if I'm gifted, but I certainly know that, you know, when I sing, people enjoy it. If you have something that people like, you should share it. Happy holiday weekend, everybody.